loosen up the worm clamp right here. You can use a straight blade screwdriver or an eight millimeter socket. And slide this off down below where the throttle body is. There's another worm clamp. You want to loosen that one up as well. You can do the same thing. Eight millimeter socket or a straight blade screwdriver. Good. Right here, there's a hose that needs to be disconnected. You can take the, this hose clamp off or this one. It does not really matter. Just use some hose clamp pliers. Slide it off. You can use some hose pliers. Just wiggle it off. This one's already cracked, so be careful of that. And slide it right up and out of the way. Disconnect the throttle body. There's a connector right here. Just slide that tab back and push down. And you can slide the connector off out of the way. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take all these bolts out. slide the throttle body off. So we don't get any debris down into the intake. I'm just gonna put a rag. Just wanna stuff that in there. That'll just prevent anything from going in there. Just remember to take it out afterwards. Disconnect the connector right here. Slide it up and slide it out. And grab the map sensor, twist it and pull it out. And take the sensor, line it up push it down and then you want to slide it and it's going to go under that little bridge right there and then you'll be able to connect the connector on the other side of this tab. Now take the connector, line it up and plug it in. Now take the rag out, make sure nothing falls down in there, that looks pretty good. It's a good idea to replace this gasket. Although it's raised up, it's not crushed at all. I'm just gonna reuse it in this situation, but it's always recommended you replace that throttle body gasket. Slide the throttle body in place. Get the bolts started. Snug them down first. And we'll torque these to 89 inch pounds. Take the connector, line it up, lock it down, then push down on the lock. Now slide this in position. Make sure you line the hose up, up top. And then slide this over the throttle body and over the air box. Now just move the clamp over, slide that in position, and tighten this worm clamp down. Sure it's snug and then do the same on this one. And snug it down. 